New at six, last year alone, stores lost an estimated $87 billion to retail theft across the country. New numbers show for 2025, that number will rise to an astounding $115 billion or more. That's according to Capital One Shopping. Now, Texas lost $334 million in retail sales tax from the same issue. Our Jesse Zaragoza talked with one local store who has been victim of this crime and police on how to curb the rising problem. The Odessa Police Department say so far this year, there are 160 reported incidents of theft in Odessa. Last year, the number was 440. So what are retailers and our local officers doing to fight this? Surveillance cameras are so effective when it comes to preventing theft. Um, if the theft does occur, it's still an excellent tool in solving the theft. Make your, your place as visible as possible. Make it as, as well lit as possible. When it comes to retail theft, it is a growing problem. This can be classified as petty shoplifting to organize sprees on a larger scale that There was like a couple occasions when like somebody had grabbed like a rack full of clothing and they tried to run out but luckily one of my guys was able to catch him out the door. Like no, nothing was stolen but like about I would say like $500 worth of stuff. When it comes to retail thefts, most stores have their products insured in order to replace them in case they get stolen. Mall security does encourage that retailers do not chase after thieves. Along with security cameras, retailers use tags as well as having employees placed in certain areas of the store to keep a lookout. I feel like our community isn't as, you know, prone to that. Like definitely in like maybe other stores in the mall, but I feel like some for somebody to like come at for us, like I don't think that's very frequent. Like it, it was like Maybe when we just opened, when we just came to Midland, that's that was very frequent, but now it's just like people know us already. OPD does say that the first two times you were caught for theft, regardless of the amount that was taken, it will be considered as misdemeanors. The third time will be a felony. Reporting in Odessa, Jesse Zaragoza, ABC, Big Two News. Thank you for that.